What's going on YouTube? This is Nexus Rider bringing you a brand new video and this one is once uh, once again a bit more of Advanced Warfare but today we've got something else to talk about. It's not Advanced Warfare related, it's actually E3 related. Uh, I'm going to be talking all about E3 inside this video and I just wanted to be able to talk to you about everything that's happened there really. Um, I wasn't there myself unfortunately but uh, you know time taking or time willing I'll, uh, I'll get there at some point. So um, well, the uh, like the, the main thing I guess is uh, we'll start off with like PS4 and uh, the games that they uh, that was announced from them as far as that one goes. So um, on there we've got uh, Shadow of War, which is the uh, the Lord of the Rings game. Um, it was Shadow over Mordor or Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of Mordor last time, sorry. And um, it, Shadow of Mordor looked fantastic, um, and Shadow of War looks even better looks truly amazing uh, you'll definitely love it if you like Lord of the Rings uh, I highly recommend take a look at it there's at least a 30 minute gameplay video up on YouTube that I've watched as well um, looks fantastic they've really worked it into the story and how everything works and looks amazing truly amazing um, there was another game that was announced called uh, Shadow of the Colossus and it was uh, it was a big it was a big in Japan as far as the game goes, and it was basically a it's like a uh, well it's a kind of uh, like a story where you're running with the Colossus etc. And it's a it's a, it's a bit of a, a bit of an odd game I'll be honest, but it uh, it looks really good. It's very very like beautiful as far as the game goes. It's got really good graphics, and um, yeah yeah so definitely. You know, I was looking there. It's it's one of those ones that it's it looks odd, but you you definitely enjoy it if you looked into it kind of thing. Uh, I highly recommend looking at that. Um, Destiny was announced. Obviously, this wasn't the PS4 part, but you know, Destiny was announced. It's obviously PlayStation, uh, you know, first as well. Um, Destiny Two. This is obviously the beta itself was announced for the 18th of July for PS4, 19th of July for Xbox one and that uh, beta period will run until july 23rd so there's five days for playstation 4 people and four days for xbox one people the pc beta isn't until late august and they've got no confirmed date yet for that simply because of everything going on obviously it's a bit more difficult with play with pc people simply because they like to go into all the files and look at everything that they can and find out all about the game even before it's come out um the release date for the actual game destiny 2 was brought forward as well um it was supposed to be late september and now it's early september we're looking at the 6th of september currently which is always awesome, bringing a game forwards. It means that they're doing really well with it. And uh, obviously the hype is good for it as well. Um, then, of course, there was COD World War II. Um, the release date for the actual game is November 7th. The beta has been announced for PS4, and that starts on August 25th. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. The more I've watched about it, the, like the first reveal trailer, I was like, eh, looks all right, kind of thing. It, it wasn't drawing me in, but I've been watching some gameplay, and um, I watched one of the gameplays from a different YouTuber called Ali A. I wasn't that impressed. I watched one from a different YouTuber called Ecoli Espresso. Nice guy, um, very genuine guy. This guy, and he's uh, yeah, he his his video of it was awesome uh, he, it actually made me be like well you know this might be worth picking up you could you could see it obviously uh, obviously it's only an alpha build anyway so it's not going to be you know the like polished etc but it, it looks great so you never know I, I, um, I'm, I've always been a COD fanboy as you're aware but um, I was beginning to to wane a bit simply because of the last Call of Duty that came out obviously it wasn't amazing um, you know I, I'd proper hyped it up I was looking forward to it and then it kind of it wasn't as as good as I hoped for it, um, especially with Battle Sister not playing it as well. It made me you know think about it as far as that one goes, and I was like, well, you know, um, if she's not playing it, I'm not playing it, kind of thing. And it's I, I didn't mind playing it, obviously. I still played it a tiny bit, um, but yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the only thing that was missing from the PlayStation like uh, announcement section 
was The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, most most of the people that have PlayStation were really devastated about this. Um, it will be announced, but everyone's thinking it will be announced at the PlayStation Expo later on this year. But uh, yeah, that's that was missed. Um, Nintendo went all in with their announcements on their one. Uh, a new game of Kirby. These are all pretty much for the Switch, I'll be honest. Uh, the game Kirby. So there's a new one being made. Uh, there's a Pokemon game. It's got no title as of yet, but it's an RPG for Pokemon. Um, Rocket League is coming to the Switch as well. There's a brand new Yoshi game. Uh, Yoshi from Mario. So Yoshi. Uh, announced for next year, 2018. Two DLC packs have been confirmed for Zelda Breath of the Wild. And then there's Super Mario Odyssey, which comes out this year October 27th so that's probably the, uh, like the most like the, the closest game to release I think um, it's a sandbox style game exploring worlds and he's got a hat that seems to be alive in it I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that uh, it looks a bit odd um, and then the uh, last but not least obviously there was the Xbox One X that was announced I, I did prefer their original like their uh, I guess what would you call it their, um, oh, their, their project name for it. The project name was the Xbox Scorpio, which I thought sounded amazing. But the Xbox One X is the uh, is the new one. If you if you take it down to an acronym, um, so if you shorten it down to just what the first letters are, you get Xbox. So Xbox. You know, Xbox One X, so it's X B O X, so it's Xbox again. I think that's where they went with it. It it's, it seems a bit it seems a bit silly, but it's I guess you know it, 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 I guess that's just what they went for. Um, you know I'm I'm no uh, I'm no you know creator etc. So you know uh, there's not much I can say about it. It's just a case of yeah, well it wasn't you know what I was after. Uh, as far as the name goes, I thought the Scorpio was a much better name for it. Um, but yeah, they announced that. Uh, unfortunately, the games that have been like the games that are coming out, um, even with its its like obviously it's it's post it's not posted it's announced as like the most um, most advanced gaming console to date, and uh, it does look like it's going to be. Uh, to be honest, it, it is uh, the most powerful one to uh, to date. But um, yeah, uh, they've. They announced it, but there's there's lots to be done for it, really, as far as it goes. I mean, there, there's lots of people that are just like, well, um, well, lots of creators that have just gone, well, like Destiny 2, for instance. That's only going to play at 30 frames per second on the Xbox One X. Uh, even though it's more powerful than the PS4 Pro, still going to play at the same frame rate for it. Uh, we think that's because, obviously, they want everyone to have the same kind of gameplay value from it rather than just you know swapping over to that but the the problem of the Xbox One X is that it's cost I guess um, it is probably the most expensive um, call, uh, call of Duty it's, it's probably the most expensive Xbox that there, that's come out probably the most expensive console that's come out you could actually get a uh, an Xbox One S and an, uh, a PlayStation 4 Pro for less than the combined price, that's uh, like less combined than actually buying a, an Xbox One X. So that that's a bit of a downside. I'll, I'll be honest, that's a bit, that's a bit of a downside. Um, there is one game that I didn't mention, and that was Assassin's Creed. Uh, you'll definitely see me playing this new Assassin's Creed. It looks amazing. I have always had an affinity for Egypt as well, uh, which is where it's set. It's set back in the days of the pharaohs, and it looks amazing. There is, however, some kind of like limited edition box set that's coming out for it. It's eight hundred dollars, and it allows you to like basically you get like a steel book version that's gold plated. You get like a twenty-seven inch like character from the actual thing. You get all the lithographs. You get the game, like the game itself, obviously. Um, it you get like a like an arm thing for it as well, like a gold cuff link, etc. It, it, it's it's probably worth the eight hundred dollars, but 
still, it's it's a lot of money. Um, that's a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, so we're uh, that's pretty much it as far as the uh, as far as these ones go. I just wanted to be able to talk to you all about it. Go be bringing out more videos, obviously, about everything that's gone on and what's coming out for uh, you know for the next Call of Duty and what's going on. And uh, so yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. You remember to tick that uh, bell for the notifications, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.